Hey guys, and welcome to a new video here on Photoshop. My name is Joseph. In today's video, it's a vlog type of behind the scenes. And the reason why I'm saying it's a vlog type of behind the scenes is I'm holding the camera and I'm moving around and pointing out exactly what I'm doing. So I'm carrying you guys along. So it's like you were here with me whilst I was shooting. I feel this is a style I want to adapt going forward. So do let me know in the comments down below if it really is helpful if I vlog my behind the scenes this way. I think doing that, I can really show you guys exactly what's happening. So that's the style I use for this video. So if you like it, just hit the like button and it's going to let me know that you really like the style. And it's also going to trigger the algorithm. So it's going to show this video to a lot more people. It's a way of you guys supporting the channel as well. So just hit the like button if you like the style of the video and I'll be doing it going forward. So when I finished filming this and I was editing, I noticed the entire clip was about 30 minutes. I didn't want you guys to get bored watching the entire series, so I'm breaking it down into two. So bear in mind, I shot everything the same day. I'm only splitting the videos into two. So I am basically finishing off the first one as you're watching this. So this is a complete video and I'm going to be uploading the next one in like two days. I'm hoping I'll be able to edit those and, you know, put it out there since it was shot in the same day. So again, let me know if you enjoy this style of video. And please, I would encourage that you watch the video all the way to the end because we're shooting different outfits, different styling, um, different lighting setups and things. I, I really, really think it's going to be beneficial, especially if you want to understand like how I light, the things I think about. And also, I'm shooting with a Canon 6D. So if something that you want to know, do stick to the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to vlog style the behind the scenes of the photo shoot and I am shooting with Julie. Julie, say something. Hey guys, this is Julie and then we're back again with the Photoshop to create some magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just want to quickly show you guys the setup. I want to, like there are several shoots that we're going to do, but I want to quickly point out certain things that I want to try out to see if it's going to work. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea if it's going to work or not, but let's see what's going to happen. So I'm shooting with the Godox AD600BM. That's my main strobe and it's coming through this Octabox, this Photodios Octabox. And I have, so this is what the magic is actually. I'm using my speed light, which is the Godox V850 Mark II. And all I have on it is a grid. So maybe I'll take the grid off maybe i won't i don't know and what that's doing is it's so the light is going to go through here through this gobo i created a shape i don't know what i was doing but don't <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me on that and that's going to cast some shadow patterns on the background i don't know how it's going to look so i don't know if it's going to look good or not but that basically is the setup so if i go back a little bit and show you the entire setup um that's where julie is so the light I didn't want it to cast any light on the background. So if I come through this way, you'd see that it's completely blocked off going onto the background. It's just supposed to light up um, Julie nicely. And yeah, so I'm gonna give it a try and uh, you see the results after a few clicks. There are gonna be like different setups that I'll do. So if I'm gonna change anything, I'm going to record and let you guys in on what I'm doing. So. Um, just stay tuned and watch me shoot and then we'll continue when I change the setup. <laughs>
All right, so I changed to the parabolic and I'm using the one with the white lining and that is li um, lighting Julie now. I wanted a bit more of an even light and the small octa wasn't giving me that. So I've changed to this. It should fill um, hair a lot more. And yeah, let's just see how this is going to look. I'm st I still have the gobo. I just pushed it back a little bit to create some patterns on the background. And Judy's going to be moving. So yeah, let's just start shooting and see how it looks. I know you feel like you want me And I guess in a way you do Hold my breath, on reveling emotions I need some space to think this through Call me on night long Try to give you hints and a heart to I changed the setup a little bit because the parabolic was casting, it was throwing the light everywhere and so it wasn't allowing the gobo to show on the background. So what I've done is I've moved it really, really close to her. She could even touch it. So touch it, let them see. Yeah. And I'm just using the edge of it to light her up and I'm throwing majority of the light away from her. So nothing is going to the background and then I have the gobo. If I can point at it, that's the gobo right there. Yeah, so that's going to be lighting up the background. It's going to be a little bit more dramatic, but that should get the job done. This is going to be like uh, another variation of the shoot that we did. And yeah, let's see how this one also goes. So I'm just going to add the red gel again. I know you feel like you want me And I guess in a way you do Hold my breath on reveling emotions I need some space to think this through Call me on now Make you cry And I don't wanna fight 
right with you I would rather lie to you I promise, now it's not the right time Yeah, I don't wanna fight with you I would rather lie to you Look away so you won't see Cause the pain is in my eyes If you feel my mind